Beginning in the early 2000s, news outlets increasingly reported on the sizable amount of compensation paid to CEOs and other corporate bigwigs. But the issue wasn't new, as the post-Depression-era case of Heller v. Boylan illustrates. In 1912, shareholders of the American Tobacco Company approved almost unanimously an incentive compensation bylaw establishing bonuses for certain company officers based on a percentage of annual profits. The annual bonus payments were calculated by the company's treasurer. From 1929 through 1939, the officers were paid in the aggregate more than $11 million under the bonus program, in addition to their salaries. Altogether, American Tobacco had 62,000 shareholders. Seven shareholders, including Esther Heller, filed a derivative action in New York Supreme Court against the company's directors, including Richard Boylan. Heller argued that the large bonus payments weren't related to the value of the officer's services. Therefore, the payments were a gift of corporate property, and as such, constituted waste. Heller also argued that the treasurer overpaid the bonuses because he'd miscalculated the amounts. After a trial, the court issued its decision. 